What's up, YouTube? Penguar321 here. Got Scott Summers in the 19th place at the Maplewood Regional a couple weeks back. Um, GKs, you can go ahead and start whenever. Yeah, I decided to play GKs. I felt the Vujins were going to be strong in the format, so I decided to go with this as it is a hard counter kill. <clears throat> so I played standard, uh, three Commandant, uh, three Spy, three Descendant, uh, two Dece or three Recruiter, two Descendant. Um, I just felt with the way my build was going, um, I mean, Descend's strong, but like he can easily get it with Spy, he can get it back with Steel, um, so it wasn't like my main focus, even though it technically is in the deck. Um, this is always a plus one, this turns into plus ones, um, that just gets you to Niagara Valley, which you need uh, for many of the game matchups that you have. Uh, I played two Heretic, I actually think this is probably one of the best cards that came out <clears throat> for GKs and like since Recruiter I think it was actually the last time anything was made for it but basically it's your no fear so when Necro Rally's out you just get to attack consistently so you don't really get bothered by it. Um, I played one Nolman for game ones I pretty much sighted out every game too but it got my engine going so like if I saw this it was my fourth spy um, I felt sideboard cards. I think this card's very lackluster actually um, because you can't be proactive with it, you can't attack into their dude to get a spy. You have to like sit on it until they attack or they blow it up, and then you don't get anything. So, um, I played one assailant because it is actually a very good card against Bujins. It's actually good against Fire Fist as well, since they some play do some do play Tenzin, and you can just switch it to defense and run over their stuff. Um, I have thought about since the since I played in Maplewood to take out the Nobleman for a second assailant. Um, I played I played three Necro Valley, that's pretty obvious. Uh, three duality. I need a dig for my cards. Um, and I'd rather not have them gain life points, so that's why I didn't play upstart. I'd rather pick which card I'm gonna get rather than just chance it. Um, I played three MST. Just because MST is my favorite card ever. It's so good. And in this format it's really good. Um, steel. Salvage, it's ridiculously strong. Gets back um, Commandants and Recruiters and Spies, so you can just keep going. You never really lose gas if you have one. I played three of the new Trap. Um, it's so good. It's ridiculous when you have Heretic out, because then you just don't care about anything that they do. Um, I did play two Mirror Force, uh, two Deep Prison, two Phoenix Chain, pretty standard Trap lineup, uh, one Bottomless. One Torrential, one Compulse, one Warning. I did play one Star of the Road because I have the fear of Exoton Knight and Wing Beat of the Dragon. Um, unfortunately, I didn't see it. I think it's a good card, actually, this format to pick in your main board if you're playing Stun. I still recommend it just with the decks that are being played. Like, Full House has been played now, so that's ridiculous against it. Um, on to the extra deck. I played one Stardust because of the Starlight Road. Uh, one Photon Tap, one Maestro, one Steel Swarm Roach. One Utopia, one Downard, one Crazy Box, one Exiton Knight, one Honor Arc, one Dweller. Actually, after thinking about it, I think two Dweller would be pretty good in this deck, um, since shutting down their grave entirely with Necro Valley would be really good. I just don't have a second one. I know I, well, that I know of. I think I have one in my stuff, but I don't know where. I'd buy that one. Uh, one Diamond Dire, one Cowboy, one Pearl, one Black Ship Corn, one uh, Master Key Beetle. And then on to the side deck. Uh, side has changed a little bit since then, but otherwise this is basically what it was. Um, one Shaman. It, I think this card's also really good out of the new stuff, um, since it does what Dweller does. So, And I can get it with Spy. So some decks just get shut down by it. Um, one Dark Hole, because I some matchup it's good, some matchup it's not. I don't like maining Dark Hole for some reason. I'm weird like that. Uh, one Soul Drain. Uh, two Wyverly, two Light Mirrors, uh, two Goes In, two Deck Devastation. I played two Retorts because I thought it'd be really cool for the mirror match to side Retort because uh, then I would get back the Necro Valley or the Tombs, but Necro Valley would be out so I can't move it. So somebody pointed that after the tournament. Luckily, I didn't play a mirror match that whole day. Um, instead, I'm now siding Puppet Plant. Does base, I mean, does very similarly what the you know, what I need to be done. And then I played two full house. I don't know where one is. I let a friend borrow the deck, and they switched. And they decided to play a different deck, and they took one of my full houses, I guess. I don't know. But I'll have to 
be it the most or find it. But this card's really good uh, against uh, Fire Fists. So, and you can accidentally turn it live by like having your Necker Valley out, and then they activate something and you full house them. It's really ridiculous, this card. But otherwise, that was the deck. I ended up 19th place, 6, 7, 2 the entire day. I think it was 9 rounds. So, I did all right. Yeah, awesome. So, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching, guys.